Hello, I am Abhilash. In last video, I tried to make a, a RC plane by using just paper, and that was also su successful to a certain extent. So, if you haven't already watched, links, links are there in the description. But there was some problem with uh, controls. It was not very easy to fly, and it also did not had enough power to fly. In that plane, I have used a WL Toys receiver that had some inbuilt servo motors and ESC and all this thing. So it is not actually upgradable and WL Toys receiver are also not that easily available at, at this time of at my location. So this time I tried to make a RC plane by using our typical RC setup like using brushless motor, ESC and servo motor so that we can make our plane more generalized. Like a previous plane, a triangle sec cross section paper stick will be the building block of our plane. And I also choose a wing as a, my design because we can make a dense structure by using less amount of sticks as making these sticks is a bit head edge. And yes, uh, this plane has wingspan of around 80 cm uh, which is quite big for uh, this kind of plane and it has expectancy of around 8. Okay, so this is the overall structure of plane. All dimensions of this plane can be extracted from this image using the scale. Here using various density of skeleton is also important. As you can see at center point there is high density of sticks because here I am going to mount DLDC motor in pusher configuration. It will not only cause lots of amount of force but also vibration. So it need to be have a good amount of strength. Ok so this is just part of the wing that will take the maximum amount of bending load while flying. And even this bending mode, bending loads are maximum near the root of the wing. So that part need to have a maximum amount of strength. So I have used around 6 sticks near the root to take all this bending load and around 5 sticks near the tip. So that we can withstand all bending load while flying. This is the leading edge of the wing. So it is it has kind of circular kind of shape to, so that it can have better aerodynamic properties. Making all these shapes using uh, sticks can be made by referring in this chart. We'll start assembling our electrons by mounting our motor. So I am going to mount my or stick my motor using hot glue. And as I already explained, the place where I am going to place my motor made of quite dense structure so that it can take all thrust load as well as vibration load. And yes, the control surfaces of our plane is also made of paper. And we can apply a various amount of cuts on these control surfaces to have a best compromise in between stiffness and strength of this movement. Now assemble servo motors and place our receiver. Our plane is not very strengthy obviously due to a choice of our material. So to have a good resistance against crash I tried to apply two methods on it. So first of it was I tried to apply uh, some copper wire at leading edge of our plane. So even if it crash I do not want it to just tear down uh, wing or any part of our mind. Another method that I use to reduce damage is to attach battery on some loose mount and using some elastic element. So instead of fixing my battery on plane it is uh, jointed loosely so in, in case of crash it will just uh, detach from plane and just hang here and there. So, uh, so one big impact load will be divided into two impacts. Now connect all electronics and set the CG. The exact value of center of gravity can be calculated using any uh, wing CG calculator that are available online. Finally, it's time to fly. That day was a bit windy so it was not very easy to fly but still I somehow managed to fly it nicely. And it also crashed many times in the process but it take all the crash load easily. So we'll try to uh, simulate a crash and see how our safety feature will work. So I try to use one leg of my table as a, some obstacle on which I will throw my plane as hard as I can and see how our feature works. As you can see battery detached nicely from our plane. 
so that will reduce some amount of impact force on plane and so the damage so this is the plane after test test it seems in good shape but there are lots of internal damage that we will also check so i will just strip off all this upper uh, layer so i will strip off all upper paper layer and we can will observe that what part of skeleton was exactly damaged and what was the propagation of damage strip off complete plane and try to visually identify the area of damage and mark it with mark it with some color so here as you can see this red point shows damage stick so i have done two crest test on one test it was damaged on right and another it was on left so as you can see on upper and lower side the plane is how plane is damaged so the area which is not under cone except crest is almost safe but that part was badly damaged so yes at the conclusion of video we can set it we can make a plane by using very non obvious and very weak material like paper Obviously its strength is not as comparable as our typical material but still we can